Welcome to the Nursing Library Orientation. The purpose of this orientation is to prepare the viewer to conduct library research. Topics covered include library information, evaluation criteria, article sources, book sources, interlibrary loan information, and contact information. Upon entering the library from the stairs, you will come to the circulation desk. This desk is where you can receive your library card by either presenting a photo ID or your campus identification card. This allows you to check out up to 10 items. Criteria for Source Evaluation When doing college research, it is important to determine that the sources you use are reliable. Here are five criteria that you can use to evaluate sources. They are especially useful for evaluating Internet sources. They are Accuracy. Is the spelling correct? The grammar correct? Is the information accurate? Authority. Who wrote the information? What are their credentials? Is there a sponsoring agency? Coverage. Is the information detailed or a brief overview of the subject? If it is a web page, are there links to reputable websites? Currency. Is there a copyright date or a date when the information was last updated? Objectivity. Are they trying to sell you something? Are they trying to get you to join their organization? If so, the information may have a bias. In other words, they may present the information in such a way as to try to get you to buy their product or join their organization. For research, you want objective information to back up your point of view. Publication types. Another way to evaluate periodical sources is by publication type. The two types of publications that we will consider are popular and peer-reviewed, sometimes called refereed or scholarly. Popular magazines are geared toward the general public and are more for pleasure reading. They usually have short articles with no footnotes or bibliography and are usually called magazines. Some examples are Time Magazine, Car and Driver, People, and the Paducah Sun newspaper. Scholarly journals usually contain much longer articles, are written by authorities in their respected field, have footnotes and bibliographies, are reviewed by an editorial board, and are called journals. These are better sources for doing your research. Some examples are the Journal of the American Medical Association, Registered Nurse, and American Journal of Nursing. There are several ways to locate scholarly journal articles for your research. Matheson Library subscribes to paper copies of periodicals. These are located in the research room of the library and are available for copying. Copies are 10 cents. A list of available paper periodicals is available under Find Articles on the library homepage. Matheson Library subscribes to numerous online research databases. A database is a collection of magazine articles, scholarly journal articles, and newspaper articles searchable online. These are the same articles that are available in the paper copies and are therefore more reputable than many internet sources. Some of the database subscriptions include Gale InfoTrack and ProQuest Direct and EBSCOhost which includes CINAHL, HealthSource Nursing Edition, and Medline. Additionally, scholarly publications can increasingly be located on the Internet. Some examples of these are Online Journal of Issues in Nursing, BMC Nursing, and Medical Matrix. In order to access the periodical databases, go to the Matheson Library homepage and click Find Articles. If on campus, select the database you would like to use from the database listing. If off campus, click on off campus access at the top of the page and enter your KCTCS logon information. Now let's look at ProQuest Direct. On the pull down menu, notice that ProQuest contains several databases. We will select Medical Sciences, Nursing and Allied Health Source. Below the database selection box, we have the option to limit our search to full text and scholarly journals, including peer-reviewed. Now the database will only retrieve entries with the entire article available and that are scholarly journals. 
Conducting a search on depression and elderly retrieves 801 full-text peer-reviewed articles. Additionally, ProQuest offers some suggested topics for the entered search terms. Clicking on the title Aging and Scleroderma provides access to the citation information, author, title, publication, pages, an abstract, summary of the article, and the full text of the article. Notice the Cite This at the top of the page. This citation feature allows you to select the citation style that you would like to use, including AMA, APA, and MLA. The database then creates the citation for your work cited. Remember, it is still your responsibility to make sure that the citation is accurate. Going back to our Find Articles page, you can begin a new search. Select EBSCOhost from the database list. Then click EBSCOhost Web. There are several databases in EBSCOhost for medical topics, including Academic Search Premier, CINAHL with Full Text, Health Source Nursing Academic Edition, Medline, and eBooks. Let's select CINAHL with Full Text. Once again, we will limit to full text, peer reviewed, and this time by date. We retrieved 83 entries. When we click on the title, Depressive Symptoms in Community Dwelling Elderly Korean Immigrants and Elderly Koreans, the full text of the article is retrieved. On the right side of the page is the link to cite the article. Another database in EBSCOhost is eBooks. Simply select eBook Collection EBSCOhost from the database list, or there is a link in EBSCOhost. Type in your search terms in the search box. We'll use Depression and Elderly again. eBooks locates 102 entries with the words Depression and Elderly. Click on a title to read the book online, then click on the table of contents, or you can page through the book. Ebooks have several advantages over physical books in a library. They are available at all times, they often have very current copyrights, give you access to books the library cannot afford, and sometimes contain textbooks. For books located on the shelves of the Matheson Library, as well as books available through other KCTCS libraries, click on Find Books on the Matheson Library homepage. Click KCTCS Library Catalog. You can search all of the KCTCS library catalogs, or you can limit to West Kentucky on the pull down Check Holdings in a Particular Library menu. By selecting this option, all of the six entries retrieved will have an item available at West Kentucky. Notice that the first entry has electronic resource in parentheses. This means it can be read as an ebook. The third entry in our list is a book located on the shelves of Matheson Library. Clicking on the title brings up the record for that item. Notice that Bluegrass Community College and West Kentucky Community College both own the book Psychiatric Mental Health Nursing. To find the book on the shelves, look for the location of the item at West Kentucky. Its location is in the book stacks. This is only one of the locations for materials in the library. Other locations are video cassettes and DVDs, media, and reference. Now look for the call number or address of the item on the shelf. It is RC 440 F75 2006. Matheson Library uses the Library of Congress classification system. This overview of the system shows that the R section is medicine. When locating this book, you will first look for the RC section, then 440, then F75. This is the address of this item on the shelves in Matheson Library. If you do not find what you need at Matheson Library, you can search all of the KCTCS library catalogs. If you locate an item you would like to use, you can request it through Interlibrary Loan. This is a free service offered by the State of Kentucky to get you materials from other libraries. 
so you not only have access to our collection, but the collections of the KCTCS libraries, the regional libraries such as Murray State, Eastern, Western, and Moorhead, the University of Kentucky, and the public libraries in the state of Kentucky. Simply make a printout of what you would like to request, book or article, and take it along with your library card to the circulation desk. Or you can enter the citation information on the online interlibrary loan request form on the library homepage. You can request up to four items at a time and your items should arrive in approximately 10 working days. Additionally, there are many websites that can be useful. Just remember to use the five evaluating criteria when using online sources. The instruction team hopes that this online orientation helps you in doing your library research. If you need additional assistance, please feel free to contact one of the instruction team.